morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the May 29th, 2020 Java with John program. Uh, as you all know, this is a senior center program that we used to hold uh, in person on a monthly basis at 30 Sudbury. And since this pandemic, uh, we've been actually be doing it every week uh, live on radio and on YouTube. And as usual, we have a great uh, lineup of guests this morning. So I'm not going to spend much time uh, with my usual updates so I, we can get right to the good stuff. But uh, with join on, joining us today, we have Heather York, our Nursing Services Director, Sharon Mercurio, Council on Aging Director, Tom Tidman, Natural Resources Director, Kim Bricker from the Acton Town Services Hotline, and Melissa Ryer from the uh, Recreation Director. So I hope you're all following our website and social media. Uh, we're trying to put out information uh, every day and uh, there's a lot of information flowing. The state's reopening phases uh, have started. We're still currently in phase one and we continue to learn more and more about the guidance and directives uh, from the state. And we're working with our local businesses and our residents to help implement those guidelines. Uh, some more businesses were able to open this week and we hope that uh, that will continue to trend in the right direction uh, from a public health standpoint. And some more businesses will start to open up uh, as we get closer to the summer. So we have some, uh, I think we have some special news that we'll be sharing later about some of our beloved town services. So I can't wait to get to that portion of the program. But as always, we're accepting questions uh, to be answered by uh, either by me or by our guests at the end of the program. So if you have questions, please email uh, manager at actonma.gov or you can call and try to get on live. That would be fun. 978-929-6611. And so without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, our first guest, our honored guest, Nursing Services Director, Heather York. Heather, what's going on today? Hi, John. Good morning, everyone. It's nice to see you again. Uh, just a few updates from the Board of Health and the Nursing Department. Um, so as we um, are reopening town buildings um, and, and other businesses within town, our Board of Health is working hard, you know, to follow the guidance issued by the state um, and taking the time to ensure that that is that things are opening in a safe manner. Um, so the Board of Health is just requesting, you know, that people are patient um, as we make sure that this happens in the safest possible way. Um, there was some new guidance put out based on anyone who is testing positive for COVID-19. Now their contacts, their direct contacts, um, anyone that they've had a 15-minute conversation with or interaction with in less than six feet, the recommendation is now uh, by the state that they get tested also as soon as possible. So that's good news um, that the Department of Public Health has put that guidance out. Um, just a couple other things about our own department. You know, we're looking forward to having people back in the building. Um, we've been talking with our podiatry certified nurse, Sarah Kinghorn, um, about coming back to do podiatry visits um, within the building, hopefully within phase two, watching how they're opening um, medical offices and things that aren't um, emergent. Um, so everyday visits. So we'll be watching that. That'll be sometime between phase two and phase three. Um, so we're planning on those things. And just a reminder, medical equipment, we're still handing those things out if needed um, as surgical procedures start again. If you need a walker or crutches, you know, tub seats, things like that, we're happy to lend those out if we have them. Unfortunately, we are a little low on some things as we've stopped accepting things back, but hopefully as the phases progress, we can start taking those, those equipment um, donations back from the public and get those sanitized so that others um, can utilize them in the community. Um, so I think that's really it for me. Thank you. Heather, great job as usual. Hey, Heather, before we move on to the next guest, how long have you been working for the town? Hold on, we're, you're muted. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear that full question, John. I apologize. How long have you worked for the town of Acton? I have worked for the town of Acton since 2004. 
I started as a home care nurse um, and then took the position of the clinical manager in, I think, 2008, um, and then took this uh, position as the director in 2010. Great. Well, you're doing a great job. Uh, have you ever had Thank a busier you. Have you ever had a busier ten weeks than the last ten weeks? Uh, no, <laughs> no. It's it's been definitely busy. You know, our office is working seven days a week. Um, we've been in the office the entire time um, that the other build. You know, the building has been closed um, because we still obviously have the surveillance to do with the with the virus, but also our agency that's still up and running, you know, with the safety guidelines in place per the Department of Public Health. So it's, it's been a busy time. Yes, well, we appreciate everything you're doing. So uh, another occupant over at 30 Sudbury who I know has been continuing to work, even though uh, we've been close to the public is Sharon Mercurio. Sharon, um, what's going on today at the Senior Center? Hi, John. Thank you. Um, well, the Senior Center continues to be closed for the pu public and um, probably will be for um, the next couple of months. Um, we're taking it slow. We're following the, the governor's orders for a safer at home for, for people over 65. Um, but what we are doing is really beefing up our virtual programming. So all along, Acton TV has been absolutely fabulous to us. Um, we've been able to have all kinds of classes and lectures and programs aired on Acton TV, including Java with John. Um, but we've broken into Zoom, and I know it's a little scary for folks if you haven't done it before, but it really is easy to use. We had some high school students do a quick how-to that will be aired on Acton TV as well. Um, so on Tuesdays, we have tips with Terry, the exercise instructor. Um, it's great just seeing people's faces again. Uh, Computer Club has started to meet on Zoom as well. We have a watercolor class coming up, laughter yoga. Um, the COA board ventured and did their first meeting. Um, the friends will be doing their first meeting on Zoom. Um, we're going to have Savan come. Um, he does a classical music program that was really popular at the Senior Center. So he's going to be doing a Zoom program in June. Um, we're also going to be having a lunch bunch. So join me for lunch on June 17th on Zoom. Um, and we're thinking about trying bingo as well. So if you're interested in participating in any of these, please reach out to the Senior Center, email us or call us, um, and we'll give you the link and kind of walk you through a little bit. Virtual, bing um, virtual bingo? Virtual bingo. Really? Yeah, desperate is, times is there, call for is desperate there, measures. <laughs> is there an age limit? Can I play? I think we'd let you in. <laughs> All right, good. That sounds very cool. Um, I'm sorry, anything else I didn't mean to cut you off? That's all right. Um, we're also, um, Fiona's been delivering meals to, to seniors and masks and that sort of thing, um, as other COA staff has as well. Um, but people have been showing us their gardens and are so proud of the gardening they've been doing. So we've decided to showcase that. So um, take a picture of yourself in your garden or your bird feeder or whatever your you're proud of that you've been doing while well. we've been quarantined send it along to the senior center and we'll put it on our virtual newsletter and on facebook uh, and then just one other program um, i've been meeting with minuteman senior services on a weekly basis they've been able to get a grant so the elder nutrition nutrition program has gotten a grant to um, provide frozen meat to seniors in town i know it sounds really weird um, but We've got some frozen meat packages available to any senior in Acton. Um, you do not need to be a Minuteman client. It's not on a needs basis. Um, the packages include hot dogs, sausages, chicken patties. Um, if that's something you're interested in, please call the Senior Center and we'll put your, your name on the list. Um, our number is 978-929-6652. And that's it for me, John, thanks. Great. Well, nice job as usual. And uh, thank you for reading your phone number. Uh, there are several phone numbers that uh, we have in town, uh, hundreds probably. Uh, and I think one thing that residents may have trouble with is trying to remember what they all are. Um, so one thing we've tried to do, uh, at least in the last few months, is we've created a single service hotline. 
uh, called the Acton Town Services Hotline. And the idea with this is that you could call this number and, uh, for example, you'd be able to get information about what Sharon just mentioned uh, related to the meat deliveries. Um, we'll, we'll connect you to the right place if you didn't catch that number. Uh, the, the hotline number is 978-929-6614. And I'm very pleased to introduce uh, one of our all-stars uh, that work in town that have taken on the responsibility of helping to operate the Acton Town Services Hotline. Uh, this is Kim Bricker. Kim, uh, tell us what's going on at the hotline. And any, uh, what's the question of the week? I'd like you to tell us the question of, week, of the week too, if you get a chance. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Um, so just uh, to go into it, the Acton Town Services Hotline is Main purpose is to provide answers to various questions, whether it be directly related to COVID-19 uh, or just general information um, about town services. Um, and I wanted to highlight that we uh, have a few wonderful town employees that can translate uh, Chinese, Russian, and Spanish. Um, so we encourage callers to utilize the hotline uh, for translation as well. Um, and I just wanted to highlight some frequently asked questions. Um, I think the, there's kind of been a trend where a lot of the callers were asking more COVID related questions um, as we started the hotline and now it's becoming more general questions about the town. Um, so we encourage people to call for either or and we will direct them to the appropriate uh, department or answer any basic questions that we know. Um, a lot of people have been asking about how to pay their taxes during uh, town hall being closed. Um, there's a drop box up front uh, at the town hall. You can drop it there, you can mail it in. Um, and then also some people have been asking about tax relief or financial assistance. Um, there are tax relief programs that you can find out about on the assessor's page. Um, there's a brochure there. Um, so you can contact the assessor's office or we can help you uh, get to their office. Um, and then also a lot of people have been asking about uh, early voting ballots. Um, they need to be in the mail by, um, well, they need to be received by Monday. Um, so make sure you go get those in. And uh, I would say the most popular question this week is obviously NARA uh, and the beaches. It's a huge question. So I'll let Melissa uh, explain that into detail. Um, but so anyone who has any questions at all, we're happy to help. Again, the number is 978-929-6619 um, during normal town hall business hours. And we're happy to help. Great job, Kim. And thank you for stepping up and helping us out with this uh, new initiative uh, over the last few months. I think, it's, I think it's worked out really well and, and hopefully we can keep that in place uh, moving forward. So our, our next guest is Tom Tidman. Tom Tidman is the Director of Natural Resources. Uh, Tom has worked uh, in natural resources for uh, several years and he does a great job over there uh, and oversees a lot of exciting and important programs uh, for the community. Tom. Morning, John. How's, how's everything going and uh, what's new in natural resources? Well, um, you know, interestingly enough, um, it hasn't changed a great deal. Obviously, we're using Zoom for Conservation Commission. That's a bit challenging, but working. Um, this has been an interesting week. The Arboretum is now fully open again. All of our parking spaces are, are open. Uh, we, we've done some trail improvements at the Arboretum, making um, the handicap accessible trails a little more usable. So the downtime when the population was, was when there were less people at the Arboretum, got a lot of work done. Um, same is true of the rail trails. The parking lots are now fully open again. Um, this was an interesting week with Bruce Freeman. Um, I met with Mass uh, DOT, the Department of Transportation, on Phase 2B. Um, we had a pre-construction walk, site walk this week, and that means that things are gearing up for the big phase that goes over top of Route 2. So. Um, if everything goes well, later this year, construction will begin on the bridge over Route 2 that will connect Acton to West Concord. So big things happening. Um, in terms of uh, other things we're working on, um, up at Nara Park, the contract is now signed for the sports pavilion, um, first phase of that, of construction of the North Building. 
Um, the contractor is working on his building permit as we speak. So it's probable that construction will start um, at the sports pavilion later in June. Um, in addition, we've done um, some trail improvements at NARA um, that will be paved probably the second week of, of June uh, as well. So lots going on. Obviously the natural resources crew are guys that do all field maintenance and, um, and improvements at our parks. That hasn't changed. Our guys are still working a regular 40 hour a week um, a schedule and, and uh, obviously the grass doesn't stop, stop growing. So we've been, we've been busy all spring keeping things moving along. So that's, that's about what's happening with us, uh, John. Good, Those are, that's a lot of great updates, Tom. Oh, by the way, for the, the, the Route 2 overpass project, mm -hmm. and you say that may start earlier th or later this year, when is the target to have that whole thing wrapped up and, and completed? Well, th th this phase will take about a year. Um, so depending on when they can get started, uh, I would say that by, by this time next year, maybe a little later by midsummer, that the, they'll be, that section will be completed. Great. And I look forward to uh, seeing the improvements you mentioned out at NARA, uh, as well. Um, speaking of NARA, uh, our next guest is Melissa Ryer. Melissa is our recreation director and she's going to provide an update on uh, what's going on in recreation and i think she may have some breaking news on some uh activities and pursuits that people have been asking about so melissa uh what's going on looks like you're outside that's good what else is going on um so yes i do have some news uh tennis courts we've had an overwhelming um response by the community that won the tennis courts they're going to be opening tomorrow um and what this means is it, you have to send an email to the rec department and ask for a time slot. I have time slots from 7 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. and they're two hour time slots. We'll sign you up and then you can go out and use the tennis court during that time slot. Um, as for recreation in, uh, in terms of NARA, NARA has, uh, has opened for walking only right now. It's a one way walking trail counterclockwise from the bathhouse pavilion. Um, NARA fields are open for play within your household. Uh, so the big announcement, um, beach and bathrooms will be opening on June 13th. So we'll have staff out there. You can use the beach, um, uh, memberships. You can buy one day passes to, to go out to the beach. Uh, we do, will have signs for social distancing guidelines. You do need to stay at least six feet away from others. Um, and if you can't, you do need to wear a mask or face covering. Um, the picnic pavilions, um, uh, all the pavilions and picnic areas are remaining closed during the first phase. Um, there will be no portable toilets, so the only toilets that will be open are the, the flushable ones right at the, at the bathhouse. Uh, and then recreation is working with the health department on guidelines to provide a safe summer camp experience. Those guidelines are going to be released soon. Um, as for recreation programming, we have been releasing free weekly activities on all of our social media accounts. So they're usually released on Mondays. Sometimes it's daily, depending on what type of activity it is. Every Friday night, we have a dance party. So it is on Zoom. You can get the link um, on all of our social media uh, sites. So tonight we're adding music trivia. So you can play trivia with us and you can ask any recreation questions that you might have. So uh, that, that's what's going on in the recreation world. Melissa, who, um, who's the DJ for these dance nights? I am, yes. So I, I actually do have my own equipment, and we do this. Uh, I do this right from my house, um, and you can join in. I have people requesting songs, um, and tonight will be some fun trivia questions. Now, do you use uh, albums, records, or what do you use for... No, we use MVP. Uh, so we, so I, I use my computer. So okay. um, the sound quality has improved over the... Th this will be our third time, so... I bought some new um, hardware to make it sound better, um, and it's connected right to my computer. Cool. Well, I can't wait to check it out. Uh, thank you for the updates and um, and all the and all the big news that you just released. So, if I want to play tennis tomorrow, I need to call you right now and set an appointment. Is that the yep. idea? Yep. You can send it right to recreation at actonma.gov, and we'll sign you up for a time slot. So, email is an easier way to do it. So, yes, uh, I would recommend email mostly. Okay. Great. Well, that's that's great news. I know people have been asking me about uh, tennis courts, so I'll be happy to report that back to those folks that have been asking. So uh, we're at the point of the program now. Uh, 
I guess I should re uh, repeat where this is the Java with John program. Uh, it's May 29th. We're live on 94.9 FM, and we're also on YouTube Live. Uh, we've had a great uh, series of guests provide some updates, and now we're at the point of the program where we take questions from the public, and they are rolling in. Uh, so the first question is, are bikes allowed on the paved Arboretum Trail? Who wants to take that one? Um, typically, we do not allow bikes on the paved trail uh, at the Arboretum. There's, there's no law that says you can't, but it's, it's a narrow trail. It's only five feet wide. It's often, you know, often used by seniors, so it's, it's not really designed for biking. Great. Uh, thank you. Uh, here's a question uh, of someone who's interested to know. They noticed a bunch of painted rocks at NARA and was wondering if that's what the Natural Resources crew has been doing uh, for the last few weeks. Is that what they've been doing, painting rocks? So we have not been painting rocks, but um, back in March, a student group from either the high school or um, from AB school system reached out and asked if they could put out inspirational rocks at NARA and, and we allowed them. So that's, those are those rocks that are, for, that, that are right at the beginning of uh, the NARA trail, right, when you walk in. What do they say? Anything like hope or love or be yourself, all these different inspirational things. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, very interesting. Um, oh, here's a question for, I guess, for me. Uh, when can people start returning the materials they took out from the library? Uh, I guess people, with the way things happen, we, we closed the library, I think, on a Friday and, and have, haven't opened it yet. Uh, we, the library director, Danielle, uh, will be making an announcement, I think, next week with regards to when we'll be able to start accepting those materials. So I encourage you to stay tuned, but it's going to be very soon. Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, let's see, I have another question. This one's coming in through text message. Hold on. Um, Kim, can you please uh, repeat the number for the Acton Town Services hotline? Yes, it's 978-929-6619. Great. And when, uh, when, do you, when, do you, when are you manning the, or when are you operating the, the line if people want to try to uh, reach you? If they want to reach me, uh, I'm working Monday afternoons from 1230 to 5, uh, Wednesday mornings from 8 to 1230, and Friday mornings from 8 to 12. Okay. Good. Well, now we know where to find you. Uh, well, thank you all. Uh, as usual, we had a great lineup of guests and some great information was shared. Uh, I'd encourage you all to follow our website for frequent updates. And if you're into social media, please follow all of our social media channels. We put out content every day in a wide variety of uh, sources. So I want to thank Melissa, Kim, Tom, Sharon, Heather. I also want to I also want to thank the folks behind the camera, uh, Mark from Acton TV, Brian from the IT department, and Austin from the town manager's office. Uh, thank you all, and hope everybody has a great weekend. Take care. Mm -hmm.